NASA and SpaceX are hoping they can get their Crew-6 mission off the ground. The three astronauts and one cosmonaut will blast off to the International Space Station just after 12.30 tonight. They were supposed to be there by now, but Monday's launch was scrubbed due to technical issues. News 6's James Barbero is live at Cape Canaveral tonight. James, NASA and SpaceX, they're saying everything's a go for launch, at least for now. NASA Matt and Ginger says SpaceX fixed that issue back on Monday, and for now, the weather's looking beautiful. Another beautiful night here at Kennedy Space Center, and as long as another technical issue doesn't pop up, it looks like the next crew rotation will be on its way. And we're looking forward to returning home safely in just over a week. Before Crew-5 can end its mission in space, NASA and SpaceX first need to launch Crew-6. Hold, hold, hold. Steve Bowen, Woody Holberg, Sultan Al Nayadi, and Andre Fedyeyev's trip to the International Space Station delayed Monday morning when SpaceX says it discovered an issue with the Falcon 9 rocket's ignition fluid. In an update this morning, NASA says a clogged filter was replaced, and now teams are ready for a second launch attempt at 12:34 in the morning. <laughs> crew 6 will be the sixth full-length mission to the ISS for SpaceX under NASA's commercial crew program. We're leaving Nicole Mann, Josh Cassida, Koichi Wakata, and Anna Kikana, who launched from Kennedy Space Center in October. Wednesday, Crew-5 giving their farewell address from the orbiting laboratory. Crew-6 will continue their work in space, taking part in more than 200 science experiments during their six-month stay. Yeah, it has been a pretty exciting uh, mission uh, from the get-go. We have a really good uh, team on the ground who gives us the perfect planning and also the tasks that we need to accomplish. So uh, we could always focus on uh, what we needed to do today and tomorrow. And tonight, NASA and SpaceX's coverage pre-launch will start at 845 with the astronauts putting on their spacesuits, walking out of their crew quarters, and catching their rides in those new black Teslas out to pad 39A. We will live stream that stream. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results new six.